Hi guys, a little shout out for Danish collaboration. Three artists in completely different styles. Lene Falul Art, she is amazing with special kind of, of blooms and yeah, I'm still learning. And Carsten from Pops Art, he's amazing with Dutch Bro. Come and join us. Hi guys, as you probably noticed, or I hope you noticed, my intro was a bit different. I do hope you can stop by on June 6th to our little collaboration, three Danish artists with different techniques and interpretations. So on to this piece. I'm here laying my pillow. Um, as you can see, I've been at it. It's my third piece. It was made yesterday, last night, late last night. And I'm starting backwards, kind of, because I didn't, I didn't edit the first one. So it's out of order, <laughs> chaos in my mind, but hey, that's okay. So I thinned it out, but this time I thinned it out with Liquitex pouring medium. Because even though it should be thin enough, it's still kind of, um, it's not that movable, it's not flexible. So I was thinking, hey, I'm going to try a big squirt of Liquitex pouring medium. And... I actually felt like it made a difference. This one, um, it's thickened up a bit, so now I can compare that the first piece was a lot easier to work with than, than this piece, but it turned out pretty good, I think. So I'm gonna layer the, the colors and I'm gonna blow it out as a, as a bloom and spin it. Uh, I'm gonna put on some music for you guys and I'll be back and talk a little bit later. Enjoy! So here I started realizing that it was kind of stuck, not that movable. And as you can see, I almost blew it. The, <laughs> the upside with two CAs is that even though I accidentally blew the black CA on top of the colors, I still had the white to reverse it. So <laughs> my luck, <laughs> at least this time. But overall, I feel like my blow was fairly good. As you can see, the black CA kind of breaks up. It didn't do that on the first piece I made yesterday. So I guess it's when my colors are thickened up a bit and the CA is going to stretch that part out maybe it's it's too much of a job for the CA so I'm for sure gonna be more uh, observant with the consistency of the paint and yeah I blew the center with a straw and guess what I spit in it again so I had to take that out with some paper towel and I feel like the CA is reacting <laughs> to my drooling, so <clears throat> and it's the black one that reacts actually. So I had to remove how much ever I could, and then I dipped a finger, and this is me trying to smoothen the lines with the palette knife so it looks 
more natural instead of an accident, you know. So I try to save it. Putting on some flow extender and then I'm gonna spin out. My spinning, I cut out bits and pieces. Um, actually not that much this time. I didn't have to spin that that much. So just a little bit has been cut out and sped up to speed times two. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna let you watch this a little bit more and listen to some music and I'll be back later. Now this part is my focus point from now on. It wasn't bad in itself, the, the black area or the dark area, but it it didn't fit with the, the bronze area. The line was too hard. So my aim was to get that dark black part off and hopefully in in that one corner where the petals hasn't reached the edge. I, I hope it's gonna it's on the top, bottom bottom left. Now it's bottom right. And I was hoping that the petal would go further out because it was yeah it wasn't following the flow uh, with the rest of the piece. And it actually it it worked out fine so I'm happy about that.
let me bring it in for a close up. So I'm pretty happy with the result. Um, once again, issue with blowing the CA in the center through a straw, I spit in it again. So it looks quite funny right there. That was my finger. There. But it stayed in the middle, so it stayed small, so I can I can live with that. The the blue shimmer in the black C8 it, it has to be the angel wing from from Colorado because that's the only pigment I have with a blue shade. So even though I put the Pepeo on last, the C8 still get connected to to the pigment so over here that's where my dark spot was I wanted the dark off and I wanted to keep those pretty little cells and it's I I fairly succeeded in that a lot of color blending within the cells some wonky cells some nice semi round cells so I like a mix of both so I'm happy with that too what do you think guys any advice suggestions questions comments in any shape or form please put them in the comment box below and um, leave a thumb up if you like this video and stay safe out there till next time bye